Metropolis, known ages ago as planet Earth, now faces its gravest hour. Lord Growl has just escaped from the prison satellite, where his brother, ruler of the peaceful galactic democracy, had exiled him. Malevolent and power-hungry, Growl has plans of vengeance that might forever alter the destiny of mankind. ships that guard the prison satellite. What's it doing in our area? Let's try to find out. Metropolis security orders you into free float and to stand by for board. Soldiers, my brother has made his army bloated with peace. Astro fighter ready for launching, sire. How far are we from Metropolis? We are approaching gravity. Thirty six second vector. Disappoint me, Craven. I'll see to it all, sire. And make sure there are no survivors, especially that Barbara Gibson. Understood, Your Lordship. Anything wrong? Come home, Barbara. Now, you must leave the Institute at once. But why? What's the matter? Om Bajar, Pani Um. Please take over for me. Sure. Looks like she's been hitting the alpha wave pills. TBA 3421 requesting authorization to exit. Go ahead, Miss Gibson. It's 
strange. One of the outer guards is coming up. He should still be on duty. What's going on? Nothing ever happens here. He's just bored. <laughs> Check something. I've got to make sure we really did kill that girl. Damn it, it's not her. He'll dock me for this if I'm lucky. Special request. It all went very smoothly, sire. We killed everyone at the laboratory. But unfortunately, the girl you wanted just wasn't there. So you did manage to disappoint me after all, Graven. You're stripped of your privileges for 100 days. Yes, your lordship. Head for Noxon. We got the Capitron. That's really what I came for. bad as I fear, Nick. All of the guards were killed, as well as the two men lost in space. Not one person survived. Yes, great brother. There was a lone survivor from the staff. Her name is Barbara Gibson. She was not at the Institute at the time of the attack. Was the nuclear stockpile touched? No, sir. This is a blatant act of war. We must retaliate. Then so be it. In the name of justice, I decree that the security forces may, if necessary, inflict death upon our attackers. I want our forces brought to full alert. Come on, Tom Tom, it's your turn. Stop reading that strange book of yours. If you want to win, you must learn to concentrate.
May I use the computer? Of course. Have I ever said no? There, in six moves, you're going to lose your planet. I'm sorry. You've lost Barbara. Incredible. This has to be some sort of magic. I can't even beat you with a computer that can solve 18 unknowns to the fourth power. Where in Helios did you learn to play so well? In a place many eons from here. Well, wherever it was. Your amazing skill. Everything about you is a puzzle. You're a mystery to me, Tom Tom. Why? Well, you're one of the strangest pupils I've ever been sent. I don't know anything about you. Even your name is mysterious, Lokan Dharma. Lokaniwa Dharma. You see? What a name. I can't even pronounce it. Oh, it means ocean of wisdom, but I like Tam Tam too. You still haven't told me why you made me leave the lab. Leave us for a moment, please. Yes, great brother. It's a good thing you didn't mention the disappearance of the uh, Capitron from Grover. If word gets out to the five provinces, there'll be general panic. Sir, even I haven't been told about Capitron. Is it really so dangerous? Yes, unfortunately. It was the discovery of the most ingenious scientist that Metropolis has had in this century, Dr. Crespin. It has the power to modify a man's cell structure and transmute him into some sort of monstrosity with superhuman powers. And the Groban Institute funded this kind of research? He could do virtually what he wanted. Until Barbara Gibson happened to stumble upon the horrendous results of this new radiation and promptly notified me. Craspin was apprehended. His research stopped and the Capitron confiscated. He was put away in the mental control satellite, but two years ago he was rescued. Nick, we must find out where Crespin's being kept. I suggest you contact Miss Gibson immediately. All right, sir. Metropolis Security, acknowledge. Delta 240, request acknowledgement. That looks pretty bad, doesn't it, Kip? We're off course and our auto navigation computer system's out, and they can't hear a word I'm saying. I wonder what in the Saturn nation is going on in Metropolis. Metropolis security, acknowledge. Metro, can you hear me? Metropolis security, acknowledge. Metro! problems but I've got mine I've asked him three times to replace that thing are your circuits clogged or something this is no time for games who programmed you anyway if you want to play games go outside and play Don't worry, boy. We'll get out of this summer. You know, the worst that can happen to us is we'll spend 2,000 years in suspended animation. Well, still beats a desk job. Why? That looks like one of our old command chips, Kip. I think I'll follow it. Sire, 
That old X-37 is sending a distress signal. Ignore it. He's not answering us. We're in a cosmos so that space jockey get his license. Battle, battle. Which is why everything would seem to point to Dr. Craspin. Don't you agree? I can't believe it. All my friends at the Groven Institute. You can thank your lucky stars you left the Institute when you did. Did anyone warn you? Tom Tom. Is that Tom Tom? Yes, he's my pupil. Who is he, anyway? And who are they? I don't know. What strange garments they're wearing. I really have no idea who they are. Let's ask him. Who are those two, kid? Foreigners. That much I could see. What did they want? Nothing. They were talking to you, Tom Tom. Yes, they were. But they didn't want anything. Tom Tom, what made me leave the Institute today? A premonition, Barbara. Some people might call it a hunch. Maybe so, kid. But I'd say she was damn lucky. In any case, we better get down to business. Now, I want you to tell me everything you know about the Capitron and Dr. Crasp. We have a 19-second vector, sire. Activate the retro rockets. My lady? I never am, Craspin, and you know it. How can I be when I know the effect will only last one day? Didn't I promise you the formula once we left Noxon? Patience, my lady. Meanwhile, his lordship's bed will continue to be graced by your undiminishing beauty. But remember, my lady, science may have conquered age, but it will never succeed in conquering death.
So your powerful friend has come, just as he promised. His lordship always keeps his promises, especially when it's in his interest to do so. Remember that, Craspin. And remember, if it hadn't been for me, you'd still be in mental control, Satellite. And under constant sedation, I used every resource at my disposal to set you up here. And we both know why, don't we? The serum's formula is not such a high price to pay, considering all I've done for you. And I want it before we leave Noxon. Don't you trust me, Lady Agatha? Don't I give you daily doses? You haven't aged one minute since you've been here, have you? I trust no one, and you know it. Welcome to Noxon, my omnipotent lord. You are more beautiful than I remember, Lady Agatha. One might say time has stopped for you. My compliments, Dr. Crespin. You and my lady have created an extraordinary base of operations. For you, sire, and your conquest of Metropolis. Which won't be an easy task. Apart from manpower and equipment, Metropolis also possesses vast nuclear reserves. My plan is deceptively simple, sire. I shall create for you an army of humanoids. Indestructible human robots. All I need is a secret element, which I hope you've obtained for me. I have. The attack on the Institute went exactly according to plan. And the girl? Was she killed? Unfortunately, Barbara Gibson was not at the Institute when my men attacked. But tell me, why do you hate her so much? She destroyed years of my work. Committed me to an asylum. Only her death can satisfy me. I am certain we shall have another opportunity. I'm going to have a look in the rear. See if I can free up the positrons. Give me a buzz on channel two if the functional light comes on. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> That's just the human I need. I can't figure out what's wrong. I can't control her, Kip. Exile, my lady, merely sharpened my desire to see you again. 
It is very gratifying for me to know that I've been in your thoughts all this time. As you can see, you've been in mine as well. And all this work is to help you regain the power that is rightfully yours. It is a great honor for me to be loved by the future ruler of Metropolis and the entire galaxy. So that's what you're after. Power. Yes, but only if I can share it with you. Your Lordship, Lady Agatha, come quickly. I'm about to create my first humanoid. I may be wrong, but I think we've run into one of the moons in the Chloe system. The atmosphere is the same as on our planet. If that's the case, there should be a metropolis settlement. When that ship entered the gravitational field of Noxon, my probes revealed that he is a giant of a man in optimum health. So I captured him by blocking his generators with magnetic discharges. Are you quite sure he's suitable for the experiment? Suitable? <laughs> he's perfect! How will you transmute him into a humanoid? That micro warhead holds barely one gram of crystallized capitron, activated by a micronuclear charge, which will trigger the mutation. And we will be able to evaluate the results right after the explosion. Remember, Craston, more than your reputation is at stake. If you should fail... Craston is as dedicated to your success as I am, my lord. I shook you up, huh? Yeah, it could be worse. A little silicone tranquilizer will calm you down. I suppose I have to go back and salvage one of those exonophones so we can send up a distress signal. You know, Kiv, you robodogs have quite an advantage over us men. You don't have to fill our reports. See you in a micro minute. human into a humanoid. Your Lordship, Lady Agatha, I want you to witness in person a demonstration of what a humanoid can do.
He's rather irritated, isn't he? before he thinks. How do we stop him now? With a very special narcotic gas. I'll show you. See, my lord and lady, this is the sensor that now controls the creature's brain. With this sensor, the humanoid will obey any impulse we feed him. Good, then we'll take him to Metropolis tonight. I'm certain security has been tightened since the attack on Groven. So much the better. It will be a full test of his powers. May I know his first command? Very well. I shall order him to kill the great brother. Yes. Deprived of their ruler, Metropolis will be at your mercy. When will the main Capitron warhead be ready? In one week. In seven days, Metropolis will be populated by an army of humanoids. At your command. First of your kind to strike terror into the hearts of my enemies. You shall march into the capital, and you shall not stop until my brother lies crushed to a pulp at your feet. take the humanoid down. You are to leave him just outside the city. Very good, your lordship. Cut off magnetic reverb. It could start off the alarm. Extinguish reactors for a silent touchdown. That's it, let's go. Every right implies a response. 
responsibility. Every opportunity and obligation. Every no one can enter the city without permission. Do you have a pass? Sound the alarm! Quick! Oh, what do you security. want? Sector 4, security breach. Intruder, ah! Intruder must stop. Stop in the name of the law. All security forces. Intruder alert. Shoot him! There's a new law! Ah! All security forces. Intruder alert. With the new law, shoot him dead. Protect the palace at any cost. What is it, Nick? Great brother, you must leave the building at once. There is some sort of mutant outside and he's headed this way. We can't seem to stop him. None of our weapons have any effect on him. Sir, you've given me a very special task and I'm trying to carry it out. Now, Groven has been refortified and you can assume control there. It's the only place where I can guarantee your safety and that of the five elders. All right, Nick, I'll go. This way, sir. <laughs> Is that the Groven Institute? Go to the Groven Institute. said this thing emerged unharmed after laser, eurotoxic, and micronuclear strikes against it? Yes, sir. He seems indestructible. The nuclear shells only seem to make him stronger. Then I know this has to be Capitron we're dealing with. What else can you tell me? Just that during the struggle, one of my men found this. Item 1X-5A, confirmed ID badge of Metropolis Colony Inspector Gollum. Departed two years ago, bound for Chloe. First to volunteer, contact lost en route, presumed missing or terminated. Wait a minute. I've heard of him. He's a big, kind, gentle person. Not anymore, I'm afraid. That part of him no longer exists. I want to know who's behind this. We have no enemies outside our galaxy. I'm afraid the enemy is coming from closer quarters. But even inside the galaxy. It can only be Growl. My brother. We're on red alert. Everyone at a station. Sir.
Maybe there's still a chance, sir. But we have to hurry. That's what you think. No one can stop that human monster. But we have to try. This way. That's it, sir. It's our only hope. That ball is made of Krypton metal, but this special press we've placed it in is even stronger. Now watch. It has the force of 800,000 Christ. No structure can resist that. That's the reason I brought you to Groven. I have synthesized him on the Great Brother's magnetic field. Tell him not to worry. The humanoid will find his brother and kill him. Where is he now? Groven. Kill Barbara Gibson. First kill Barbara Gibson. Are you hurt? No. I don't know who we have to thank, but I'm sure Angelio's grateful. not worth the risk. Order the Nurek commandos on Metropolis to keep an eye on the humanoid and launch a scout ship for reinforcements. We'll keep out of their security sector. Yes, Your Lordship. What's wrong, Barbara? Our lives are in danger, and I can't find the counter-humanoid notes I took. They are our only hope. Run away, 
quick! May your essence return to your body. Let me reach into your heart and into your soul. Om Mani Padme Hom. Andera Kashobda. Somebody help me save Tom, Tom. Tom, Tom. He was headed this way before we lost his signal. I'll go look over here. Loksar Chak Pori Yak Simor I knew you were in danger. Come, Barbara. Thank God you always turn up at the right time. I'm your best pupil. And who are those two strangers who saved my life? They are keepers of an ancient rite. But how did you... I mean, with the humanoid? You have nothing to fear from him anymore. He is no longer controlled by anyone. Tam Tam, who are you? Lokani Wawa Dharma. Have faith in me. I am here to help you. Come on, Golab. I'm your friend. My name is Barbara. Barbara. Say it. Barbara. You're learning fast. If only he were able to understand. Maybe he could help us and tell us where Dr. Craspin and Gral are. We could try something with the help of our new friend. Concentrate as hard as you can on Growl and Dr. Craspin. Magna Japti Ananda. Huh? 
Look, Caleb. Look and remember. Please, try to speak. You have to tell us where they are. Where's Dr. Craspin and Grau? Nah. 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 Oh, Golov, you did it. Go on, try it again, please. Noxen. Noxen is a moon in the Chloe system. Yes, I have to get this to Nick and the Great Brother. Oh, thank you, Golov. Look after each other. Come. Now you will sleep. And while you sleep, you will remember more of who you are. You will see yourself as human once again. I'll help you become your real self. Trust me, friend. Trust your own humanity. <laughs> They've taken Barbara. If Dr. Craspin gets his hands on her, even I can't help. You're crying. That is the most vital sign of all. Your humanity is returning. Dr. Crespin's former assistant, my lord. What about the humanoid? Did he kill the great brother? No, the great brother is still alive. He will crush you like a worm. Take her away. Tell me what happened. The humanoid failed to follow your orders, sire, and we lost contact. Back to Noxon. I'll hear what Crespin says about this. Attack knocks on head-on is too much of a risk to its population. I understand that. But Barbara Gibson's life is in danger. The same applies to all of us. Sir, let me go. A single commando raid is our only chance of rescuing Barbara and recovering the Capitron. If you think there's a ray of hope, go. But not on your own. Hey, let him approach. Go, Lap, go. Barbara, my friend. Now I know there's hope. Hey, I think we got company. What in Helios are you doing here? I was going your way, so I thought I would come along with you. Kid, you gotta be out of your gravity zone. What do you do for an encore anyway? I suppose you can fly one of these ships. Of course. It's much easier than levitating. All I can say is you're one of the weirdest little kids I've ever met. Now, I want you to tell me how you managed to sneak into the space terminal. I just had a little talk with the guards, eye to eye. Well, I'll be disintegrated. Kid, one of these days, you're gonna have to teach me a few of your tricks. We're gonna need some kind of help, that's for sure.
Welcome back to Noxon, sire. Ah, Miss Gibson. Are you prepared to pay for the wrongs you've done me? You're going to pay as well, Dr. Crespin, for your warped and evil doings. I'm sure nothing, not even my death, is going to prevent that. <laughs> That's enough, Crespin. This prize is as much mine as it is yours. And I won't have it damaged. Take her away. The problem at hand, Craspin, is not the girl. Your obsessive vindictiveness has already cost me several valuable men. What I want to know is why the humanoid's mission was only partially successful. Well, the, the sensor must have been damaged during the fight. I, I lost contact. But it's much less likely to happen with an army of humanoids. I hope so. For your sake, Craspin. Entering into Noxon's magnetic field. It's time to be switching on retro rockets. There you go. They're onto us. Hold tight. I guess I got it used to fighting back. Tom Tom, you said you could fly this buck. Well, let's see you.
didn't Helios have it? Golub saved our lives. He managed to land the ship. All I can say is I'm glad you decided to come along. Where are we, anyway? It's Naxon, all right. And from the looks of it, I'd say we're stranded. It's a Robodog. A Canopac X3. Government issue. A nice specimen, too. I wonder what he's doing here. He wants his master to follow him. So where's his master? Right here. Try and remember, Golub. Uh, <laughs> I think he wants to show us something. Let's find out what. Come on. I wonder what that rocket's for in the hangar. They've got something big going on down there. That growl is as crazy as that scientist. Lady Agatha that never could pick the right man. Now, if she'd given me a chance, I'd just... Hey, what's that? It's an animal. No, it's not, you idiot. It's a robot. And maybe it's growls. Hey, maybe it's hungry. Kip, quickly! What's going on? When this missile hits Metropolis, the warhead will explode, radiating Cabotron throughout the planetary atmosphere. And then, then, my lord, you'll have an army of humanoids. Once I regain Metropolis, we can move on to conquer the rest of the galaxy. <laughs> Preparations for launching. I'll bet two nuggets of iridium they'll be blasting off within an hour. But first we must find Barbara. Barbara. As you can see, Craspin and I have kept our promise. And I shall keep mine, my lady. Help me carry out my plan, and you shall be my queen just as I promised. There are several details I must clear up. Meet me in my laboratory in one hour.
Stop! Now you will come with us. Growl will be glad to see you. An ideal specimen, wouldn't you say? I know you're watching, my lady. She's going to be the most potent dose of serum I've ever given you. Stop where you are! Get you out of here no matter what. Why are humanoids fighting for them? It's not possible. Kill him. Be careful. <laughs> Cover us, kid. You are going to pay for this, Craspin, you inept fool. Wait. I can still neutralize them. Narcotic gas. <coughs> Quick, the whole room's going to fill up with gas. The bait. I need the serum. Hold on for a few minutes. We'll be on Growl's ship soon. Come on, Barbara. That seals us off. No one can get in or out of here now. Is the rocket ready? Yes. Can we board the ship now, my lord? Prepare for the final countdown.
My muscles are stiffening. I'm cold. Why won't you give me the serum? My lady, I told you it's on the spaceship. It's blocked. We're trapped. <laughs> with that dreadful machine of his. Your life fluids would have only brought her one more day of beauty. Thank <laughs> you. 
Start the reactors. We're leaving. No one can stop me now, princely hero. Come on, fight. What can you do against me? I'm not afraid of you, Growl. You are as stupid and helpless as my brother. Sport with you no longer. from the universe, we can only continue to fight it. Got the Capitron. Olaf, our brave friend, he killed himself. He killed himself to save us and Metropolis from destruction. Hey, 
Hey, look! It's Golo. He's still alive. The lion has turned back into the lamb. He's himself again. Where the Helios am I? Golub, how wonderful. You're still alive. Oh. What? You look good in a beard. But I've always had a beard. No, you have not. Don't you recognize me? But Barbara. Yes. And Nick, and Tom Tom, and Kip. Kip! <laughs> What's going on here, boy? This is my Robodog. I know. We've been friends for quite a long time. <sighs> Forgive me, Barbara. I must have banged my head on something. <laughs> Those two here again? It can't be. I summoned them. I must leave. Tom Tom, whoever you are, please stay with us. My work is finished here, Barbara. I must return to my home. They are waiting for me. Today is the day of light, and I shall remain in each of you like a faint yet eternal glow. We are going back to the sacred land of Tibet, to a time many ages in the past. Listen to your heartbeat and you will hear my name. And you, my friends, will always be part of me. Om Mani Padme Hum. Once again, planet Earth had narrowly escaped disaster. Once again, it had found in itself the intelligence, the insight, and the strength to repel a mortal enemy. Once again, man was to live at peace in the galaxy. <laughs>